All right, welcome back to my channel. It is I, El Sofos, Jose Alfredo Ra, coming back to you on this Saturday. So let's get a collective message going. So I know the previous videos, I was using the um, Angel Oracle Guide. However, now I'm going to be using uh, the Spirit Animal Oracle, which I used in yesterday's video. So feel free to check that out. It was all zodiacs welcome. So let's see what we have here. Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> all right. So coming to us today on this energy day of Saturn, Archangel Cassiel or Cassia. What spirit animal message do we have today? Ooh, almost there. There we go. Ooh, I like this one. So, spirit is speaking to us, right? Source, the creator, what we're connected to. Because we have the B spirit, number seven, right? It says, sweet results await. Look at that. So, some of you could have seen bees floating around recently, right? In your life. Spirit is talking to you through the bees. It says you have been putting in the work, right? You've been doing your part. You've been playing your role. And because of that, your rewards are coming in. So fear not, right? Trust in your connection. What is the next message that supports the bee spirit? Look at those. They jump in today. I love this. So, next message. Do we have one more message? Give it a second. There we go. That was two jumpers before that one. Beautiful. I love this. It's the cover art. So we have 58 in the stag spirit. Take the lead, right? Look at that energy right there. Take the lead. That is five and eight, which is 13. Add it up. 13, one plus three equals four. You have to take the lead, right? When it comes to making the choice and making the decisions that are ultimately gonna be what you use and how you take action and building the foundations that you want for your life moving forward. Trust that the spirit is guiding you, source, creator, all source, goddess, you know, all that is guiding and supporting you in this moment, okay? Stag spirit, be fearless. Some of you should uh, try to spend some time in nature, by the trees, go to a park. Uh, if you have mountain areas not too far from you, drive there, go in there, get yourself grounded. If you've seen a feather lately, that definitely means that it's telling you, keep proceeding, take the lead, make the choice, go in the direction that you wanna go into. Final. All right, low. So nice, right? We have 38 lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. All right? Dream the world into being. Right? Three and an eight, that makes an 11. Comes down to a two. Co creating, right? Two. The mirrors in your life, but co creating with spirit, with source. The lizard spirit, dream the world into being, which means you need to really be able to, in this moment, visualize exactly how you want your life to manifest. Beautiful. All right, give me just one second. All right, so now we're back. Let's get some clarification with tarot using the Illuminati tarot one of my favorite decks all right so 7 58 38 which ultimately goes to a 7 a 4 and a 2 so 7 4 2 look at those energies 7 is connected to spirits right 4 is about your foundations and that 2 is the reflections that you need to do, right? To move forward. 
Sweet results await. Take the lead and dream the world into being. You're being told right now, right? Trust that everything you have visualized and everything that every step, every action that you've taken up to this point, you're going to be rewarded for it. But you need to keep dreaming. You can't stop there. So it can't stop at where you saw yourself six months to a year from now. You have to continue envisioning that. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Be present, but also plan for the future. All right, divinity source. What is the next message to support the beast spirit? Number seven. Where's the message here? There we go. The moon card. The moon card. All right, so this is Cancerian energy, right? Cancerian, the energy of the Divine Mother. This is uh, your emotions with the moon sign. You could either be feeling like, right? You're not sure how to take the lead, how to move forward, right? Or there could be some, some uncertainty or like a little bit of a fog in the sense of like how you're visualizing right now, right? Because you might feel like you're not really sure if things are going to manifest for you. You're not really sure if the direction that you think you want to go into is going to make everything come into fruition. You have to let the fear go, right? The moon is also a card about the journey into the unknown, but you have to trust that you have the intuition connected to the higher realms, right? You have a luminary here that will guide you through that process. So though you cannot see right now those rewards, trust your intuition will lead you to it. Strength, take the lead. Take the lead in the strength card. This is Leo energy. I see it as Virgo and Leo combined, but take the lead, right? This is knowing when to take a moment to calm your inner beast. Right? This is when you take a moment to try to get in alignment and balance with your lower chakras, right? Do things from your crown because you're connected to a higher source, a higher power. And it's telling you to take the lead. You have the strength. You have the compassion to move forward. You're deserving of this. Your intentions are pure. Be gentle with yourself in this process. To be a leader means to be fearless. Even in times of uncertainty, right? When you can't see things 100% clearly. But trust that you have guides that are going to guide you through this. All right? Now, for the lizard spirit... Make it clear, please. Make it clear for the lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. Ha ha! Queen of Swords. Right? Pulling in from the mental realm. Air sign energy. Dream the world into being. And then we have the Queen of Swords, right? Air sign energy. The mental realm. Visualization. Clarity, right? Precision. Someone who knows right? Exactly what they want, how to attain it, how to be mentally strategic about it, how to trust their mental capabilities. The Queen of Wands, sorry, the Queen of Swords. Ooh, Queen of Wands, that means deep down inside, there's some passion within some of you. But you're making sure that you're being logical, you're being sensible, right? You've thought things out. You've put in a plan of action. And you're sitting in a position of power. Right? Authority. You have that sword, which means you have the right. You have the divine right to envision, visualize, use your imagination, and bring whatever it is you desire that's part of your path into this world. Mm-hmm. And at the bottom, we have the King 
of cups, right? So not only are you being supported by your divine feminine aspect. So for some of you, maybe the, your, your, your mental strength is coming from that feminine side of you. But your masculine strength, your divine masculine energy is coming from a place of total emotional fulfillment, emotional security, a nurturing and loving position, right? So fear not, you are balanced in this moment and you have what it is going to take to proceed and bring into fruition, right? Everything that you want. So if this message resonates for you, feel free to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, share this with someone who needs to hear this message. And thank you so much for your support and for coming back. Uncle Justin Evans.